Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well. Oh, that's hot. But it's good. <laughs> All right, well, this morning we're going to start off in uh, Psalm 106, and then we have a reading in Exodus, and then we're going to 1 Peter. So let's get started. Psalm 106, verses 1 through 6, and then 19 through 23. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. Praise the Lord. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who can utter the mighty deeds of the Lord, or declare all his praise? Blessed are they who observe justice, who do righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, when you show favor to your people. Help me when you, when you save them, that I may look upon the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation that I may glory with your inheritance. Both we and our fathers have sinned. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedness. They made a calf in Horeb and worshipped a metal image. They exchanged the glory of God for the image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God, their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and awesome deeds by the Red Sea. Therefore, he said he would destroy them, had not Moses, his chosen one, stood in the breach before him to turn away his wrath from destroying them. Hmm. All right. Uh, next, we're going to Exodus chapter 24, verses 1 through 8. Here we go. And this one is entitled, The Covenant Confirmed. <clears throat> then he said to Moses, Come up to the Lord, you and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship from afar. Moses alone shall come near to the Lord, but the others shall not come near, and the people shall not come up with him. Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord, and all the rules, and all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words that the Lord has spoken we will do. And Moses wrote down all the words of the Lord. He rose early in the morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the people of Israel who offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen to the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins and half of the blood he threw against the altar. Then he took the book of the covenant and read it in the hearing of the people. And they said, All that the Lord has spoken we will do, and we will be obedient. And Moses took the blood and threw it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words. Hmm. Good stuff. All right. The New Testament lesson, uh, the epistle lesson this morning, 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. And uh, this one's entitled, Shepherd the Flock of God. So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful, shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility towards one another, for God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And this, and, oh, and then there's uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 12 through 14. And this is uh, final greetings. Uh, by Silvanus, our faithful brother, as I regard him, I have written briefly to you, 
exhorting and declaring that this is the true grace of God. Stand firm in it. She who is Babylon, who was likewise chosen, sends you greetings. Who is at Babylon, I'm sorry, who is likewise chosen, sends you greetings, and so does Mark, my son. Greet one another with the kiss of love. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. And this is the word of the Lord. All right. Go to the Pray Now app and I'll read the prayer of the day. Let us pray. Lord of the Sabbath, you gave your servant David the bread of the presence on the Sabbath to teach him that you desire mercy and not sacrifice. Be merciful to us by healing us from all our sins and diseases, that we may be merciful to others as you have been merciful to us. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right, well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. Have an awesome day. And uh, I do pray for the peace in Israel. Um, it's just terrible what's going on over there, but uh, no God wins. Uh, but just pray for those people. Um, I certainly do. So. With that, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we will see you tomorrow morning on Coffee in the Word. God bless.